the Lincoln Web Library has a standard CD DVD drive in our library of things. It looks like this. It comes in a pack. And it has an instruction sheet and the unit itself with its data and power plug in the back and the tray and the tray opening button in the front along with a standard USB cable. To use this, you'll plug in the data cable to the back of the CD drive and plug it into your computer. This drive works with CDs and DVDs. It does not work with Blu-rays. It works with basically any computer. You will have to use your file system on PCs and Macs to access the content. Once you have it plugged in, you have to press the button to eject the tray. It is a slot loading, so you have to pull it out. I've got a music CD here that I'll insert. You hear that nice snap? You want that to make sure the disc is fully in and then close the tray. In the file explorer, I see the disc and I can double click it to open it up and it starts playing. There are multiple different ways to eject your discs, the easiest of which, if your disc is not playing or not being written to, is to simply press the button on the front of the disc drive. So this works with CDs. It also works with DVDs. Inserting them works the same. You want to hear the nice click, then close them, and the computer will recognize the disc and think. And then you can double click to open it. And it will open in an appropriate program. For music and CDs, there's a great free program called VLC if you don't have one on your computer. So it pulled up this disc and I could hit play. And just like that, I'm playing this DVD. But I will close it and exit out. Again, I can click the button on the disk drive to eject the DVD. Finally, you can also use blank CDs and DVDs with the library CD and DVD drive. This is a blank CD, which I can insert into the drive and close the drive, and the computer will recognize it. It recognizes that unlike the filled media that I demonstrated, the CD disc is empty and it recognizes how much storage space it has. So I can click on it and it will start the process of burning a disc. You'll have to load files, give the disc a name, and burn it. Burning usually takes a little while. For now, I'll hit cancel. And if you have any questions about this, Lincolnwood residents who have library cards and are eligible to check out Library of Things can also sign up for one-on-one -on -one technology help appointments with librarians like me. So we can help you learn how to use this kind of thing more.